Guys, I am here at the Equip Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. There is so much to see and do. I thought I'd take you and give you a look around. So, go check it out. All right, well, I'm here at the Equip Expo in Louisville, Kentucky. I was invited to be a guest of Curtis Artillion, and we're gonna to talk to those guys later on. But first off, right off the bat, there's so much stuff here, there's no way I'm gonna see it all in the two days that we're gonna be visiting. So I thought I'd just pick five or six of the, my most interesting things that I find and share them with you guys. The first thing is right here in the steel booth. You know how I like steel chainsaws? Well, one of the most common comments I get is I should be wearing proper safety gear. And I just happened to meet a guy here that, that is dressed exactly for chainsaw work. You know, I'm not sponsored by any of these people, but I would buy a pair of these steel pants. These are like lightweight chainsaw pants. This is just a sharp looking outfit. Really, sir, I, I wanna buy a pair of these pants and the coat, the coat is sharp. Where, where can I buy one? Some people aren't willing to do interviews. I tell you, these electric mowers are all the rage. They're everywhere, all different kinds. Electric bikes. So the trend here at the show this year seems to be electric, autonomous, robotic, and I've only seen a few electric compact utility tractors, but this one looks cool. Can you tell me about it? This is our Selectrek E25. It's our version of a compact tractor that's fully electric. So what would be the runtime on something like this? We've seen a lot of success at an average about six hours. Six hours? That's more than I would have thought. Yeah. So this would suit somebody like me. I'm just a homeowner, homestead guy. Yeah. My tractor sits 90% of the time in the barn. Sure. So I could be charging it, basically go out and have six hours worth of runtime with this, you think? Yeah. I don't know, that sounds pretty appealing to me. Well, thanks a lot, Rachel. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate Thank it. You. Cool. So I'm here with Steve. I'm just roaming around trying to find the things that are interesting to me. And this retriever by Versatran caught my attention. This is, this is what I think would replace towing a trailer around every day for guys that want to go out and work every day. Can you tell me more about it? Absolutely. This is the Retriever 16. Uh, this is a non-CDL version of our Retriever product line. It is a completely air operated system designed and built specifically for moving equipment. Not adapted, it's built for this, right. Correct. So you see a lot of guys take a truck and try to turn it into something like this. Right. This is purpose built for this very reason. Correct. This and this is a small version. You told me earlier that you know, you've got them how big? So we also have the 15T and 20T, so we can carry loads up to 38 to 40,000 pounds. Jeez, so you can haul a dozer on one of these. Correct. This rear deck now is ready to load and unload a piece of equipment. This tail can lift 20,000 pounds. There's two airbags underneath it that are providing the lift. Each bag is capable of 10,000 pounds each. Now if I wanted to back up to a loading dock, I could actually fold this rear ramp right onto the rear deck, back up to a loading dock. I'm ready to roll now. I like it. Thank you. Thanks for showing it to me, Steve. Appreciate it. All right, have a good show. You too. Thank you. This caught my eye because it's a, it's basically like a wheelbarrow that you can mount on your zero turn mower if you got a stand up mower. I got to talk to these guys, Trent and Miles Yoder. How old are you guys? Uh, I'm 20. 20? I'm 17. 17. So two young guys that are getting it done. I'm really impressed with the dump attachment that they've created. Can you? Tell me more about it. What's the deal here? Yeah, so we saw, saw a need in the market for it. So we came up with this simple com concept and uh, just started building them. That's awesome. So this can stay on while you're mowing? Yeah, so you can leave it on while you're mowing. Uh, most of the guys just use the quick attach pins, pull it off, um, just set it on the trailer while they're not using it. Probably 90% of the grass that you mow, you could leave this on, and yeah. then as you find stuff in the yard, you can hop off and throw right. it in. Some guys will run the like the ga grass catcher on the side, and they'll just dump the grass right in there. Oh, so nice. They don't have to run to the trailer all the time. Yeah. 
Well, I just thought this was super clever and I like seeing young guys getting after it and coming up with stuff. Did you guys come up with this on your own? Yeah, so we, we designed it with a, a, a dealership. Oh, really? Um, so we actually have a patent on this as well. And they're from Ohio too, so that's close enough to us, but. Yeah. All right, well, nice work, guys. I just, I just walking by, I thought it was kind of cool, so. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thanks Thank a lot. You. All right, we'll go check out some more stuff. The big buzz here at the show is these cabs for zero turn lawnmowers. It's the first time I've ever seen them really. And actually the people that are hosting us is Curtis Artillian and it's, it's in their booth. So we get to spend a lot of time looking at them. And this is John from Curtis Artillian. Yeah, yeah. Neil, thank you for coming. Thank you for stopping Thanks by our Thanks for having us here. appreciate it. So let me tell you a little yeah, bit about Yeah, I want to know about these. I think my dad would really be interested in something like this. Well, we probably had your dad in mind yep. over the past couple of years when we've developed these. Knowing how popular the zero-turn mowers are these days, Absolutely. what we've done is we've developed a solution that we think will help people stay comfortable, not only from the sun and the heat, but maybe the dust and the bugs. Absolutely. As you can see, what we've done is we've developed a cab here. It's all hard-coated poly so that you've get maximum visibility when you're mowing. Yep. But the coolest thing, Neil, about the cab is it's got high performance automotive grade air conditioning. Oh my. What that means is we can freeze you out yeah. of the cab <laughs> right while you're mowing the lawn so you're really comfortable. Well, that'd be great. We've got three models. Can I show you a little bit? Show yeah. you each one? Which one's so, you got? First one here, we've got um, a model that we developed for the Ferris, the ISX 3300 model. Okay. This will be available, it's available now. Um, so okay. if you're interested, contact your local Ferris dealer. Okay. Um, same thing here with the John Deere. We developed this cab for the uh, Z994 um, diesel engine on this one. Mm. Again, if you're interested, reach out for your local sure. uh, John Deere dealer, or you can contact Curtis directly, either way, if you have questions. We also have here the Kubota ZD1211, which we actually launched this about 18 months ago, and they've been so popular with people like your dad, we decided to add green and red, yeah, to, yeah, the, yeah. red to the mix. We're excited. Yeah. Again, thanks for you know coming hey. by and asking us about these. No, I think they're fantastic. I just... I could see every retired guy in the in the county with one of these buzzing around and they'd mow all day and all week long. So. Well, we're hoping everyone <laughs> in the county does. Well, thanks again for having us. Appreciate it. Again, any other questions, give us a buzz. See us at curtiscab.com. Sure. All right. Thanks. We're going to go it. check out some more stuff. So there's a whole nother section of this show that is hardscape stuff. It's like, you know, landscaping materials and blocks. Plus they got grills and just like if you're gonna build an outdoor patio, it's amazing. We didn't even get a chance to look around here too much. So it's, we gotta do that now. So I'll be honest, a lot of time I come to these shows looking for things that I'm gonna be able to afford in about 15 years when some of the depreciation <laughs> kicks in. But there's so many other vendors here and a lot of cool stuff. You know, I, want, I need to find a new blade for my partner saw to cut concrete. And I wanna find one of those chainsaw cases that you can store your chains in. Like that guy right there. Where'd you get that? Kind of by steel. All right, we gotta find one of these. Thanks a lot. So yeah, hopefully we can find some of that stuff. And then we won't walk away from the show empty handed. No. I've seen people walking around with these and I need to get one. I also saw them on GP Outdoors. Yes. We debuted this last year. We only had seven prototypes. We didn't have anything for sale. This is a product that we're debuting here at this show, and it's the Pro Series. Um, studs one through nine are the original chain locker to fit your six to 20 inch chains. Anything beyond 20 inches, you just come around the, the loop, find your spot, and drop. Cool. I'm gonna be going home with some of these. Yep, stainless steel hinge pins. Stainless steel clasp pins, so you don't ever have to worry about that rusting up the towel. Got them. Now I'm going to do something with all those chains that are wadded up on my workbench.
This right here, guys, this is a UX-17 blade, probably the single greatest 14 inch blade on the market today. Has a huge 17 millimeter segment, all available at Blades Direct, and it cuts everything from concrete, reinforced concrete, rebar through granite and river rock, and it'll last forever and cut faster than any diamond blade in the world. We guarantee it. Buy yours today. That's awesome. Yeah. So I've got, I know I've got a few projects where I've got to cut some concrete. I got a couple uh, demo jobs to do. I think this will be really handy. I'm gonna check it out. Check it out. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, Robert. Absolutely. You'll love it. Looking at anything that would catch my eye, and I couldn't hardly miss this booth right here. I'm here with Mark, and he was showing me these awesome lights. I think this will be a great solution at Harlan Days in the tents instead of stringing up the lights around the outside. Tell me a little bit more about these lights. These are great lights. These are LED portable light tower solutions. Yeah. These things are very powerful, portable, energy efficient lighting. So you have a 700 watt light that does 102,000 lumens, only five and a half amps. And then we get down to the 60 watt, 8,000 lumens, only 0.5 amps. So these are great lights for any solution. You can use them on the tripod, which comes with the kit. The fuse lighting is soft. You can use it for videography, photography, any yeah. application. It's a great source and it's energy efficient. So. I just thought it was interesting. Thanks a hey, lot, Mark. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Have a great day. You too. So, uh, three big rules. Just don't touch the blade of the ax. If it does ricochet back at you, don't try to catch it or stop it in any way. Just move. You're up next, my man. Okay. We're going to try some ax throwing. Stance like this. There we go. Nice. I guess we don't have to edit it. That's the only time we'll be able to do this. I blew it. There's a lot of cool stuff out here. All right, so we're just outside checking out all the demo equipment. I'm kind of overwhelmed because I don't know what I want to try first, but I heard there's a case Minotaur down here, like a large skid loader bulldozer hybrid thing. I'm hoping I can run that, so I'm gonna go sign up. It said it's about a 20 minute wait. And then you'll get the feel for it. Yep. Oh, can I try it? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So built from the ground as a dozer, so it's got all dozer controls. Okay. Um, I wanna make sure you know that this thing does detent, so you don't wanna forget that you put it forward and not remember and run through the gate. Okay. So that's just like a dozer for me. Okay, so steering's all here, blade's all here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks a lot. That was cooler than I thought it was gonna be, actually. That was really neat. It, it did not act like a skid loader at all. It was more like a bulldozer. It was a, it was a hybrid between a bulldozer and a skid loader, but a lot of fun. That one, that one would have a lot of uses for someone like me. So if Case wants to send one over, I'll, I'll be sure to put it through its paces, so. All right, let's go check out some more stuff. Have you operated one of these? Before? No, I haven't. That okay. was why I wanted to try it. So just go ahead and step up on the apparatus. It's got a sensor in there. Okay. thing is wild. It's all joystick control. I probably should have played more video games when I was younger to run that, but 
I can see how it could buck you off too. Did you see me about get thrown off in the beginning? <laughs> Check out this giant zero turn. It has folding wings. I wonder if I can run that. 49 horse, 49 and it's a 120 inch deck. 120 inch deck. All right, this is so giant. So jump on this thing. Okay. We'll raise the deck up. Yeah, I want to see that. So if oh, you nice. transport it on the trailer, folds up 96 oh. inches. It's 96 inches when it's folded up? When it's folded up. You know, you go on your trailer or go to a bridge or whatever you got. And then when you lower it down, you'll watch your actuator and it will see, it will seat, and then it seats. Locks, it. Locks everything in place. We can raise this up so we don't have to go too far and then you can okay. move. Man, that is sweet. So I gotta ask what's something like this cost? So this is $65,000. 65000 Gotta mow some grass. But that's, some grass. thanks for showing me. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Extreme terrain mower. So if you got a giant aluminum ramp in your backyard, this is the mower for you. By far, two of the most popular things in the show have been electric lawnmowers and electric vehicles of all sorts and remote control vehicles and lawnmowers. This thing is crazy. So I can see a great use for these things on pond banks and, and you know highway overpasses. I've seen a lot of situations where this would work well. This one's gonna go up the super steep ramp right here. How steep is that? 58? 58 degrees. Look at that little thing. Another remote control lawnmower. I'm not, this must be the future, right? Remote control and EV. This one might be autonomous. It might be running itself. All right, so I thought it was remote control. It's actually autonomous. So you've programmed like a geofence or something or a pattern for it. So basically what we did is drove around the perimeters so that tells it the working area. And then at that point it plans the stripes oh. and it just runs it. So you just tell it to mow and it'll do everything from there. So you drew the perimeter and then turn it loose basically. Yep. Does it utilize GPS and sensors or just GPS. It's set up to use a combination of information. So right now it's primarily running on the GPS, but you can see the sensors that are on there. In, in production yet, or is this a prototype thing? This, these two machines are prototypes right now. We are expected to be releasing uh, units uh, for purchase uh, mid to end of 2023. So we got autonomous lawnmowers. Pretty soon we won't be doing anything in the yard. Oh, that's cool. Thanks a lot, guys. No problem. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Bobby Cleveland and Chuck Miller. They were checking out the Ogura Clutch Monster Mower behind me. It's so, one of a kind. It is one of a kind. Can, what, what can you tell me about it? Got a 454 in it with a 671 blower. Got the five ton axles. How long ago did you build it? Yeah. Not this summer, but last summer I finished it. I've okay. been on it for about 10 years. Really? Oh yeah. Those are a lot of fun. I really admire the craftsmanship that goes into yeah. this kind of stuff and yeah. the amount of time you must have poured oh, into it. A lot it. of time. I couldn't have done it without Chuck Miller. Without Power, Chuck Miller? Power, Miller Power Equipment. Cool. And of course, the Gura Clutch has been sponsored for me for 20 years. It's pretty awesome. Thanks for letting me check it out. No problem. Thank All you. Right. Pleasure talking to you. Yep, you too. We'll see you around. All right. Dinolift 72 RXT. I work for RBG. Uh, we're the main import and distributor for the machine here in the United States. Okay, I'm gonna let Trent take this ride. I'll stay down below. But I want you guys to get a good view of this place for sure. Wait, are you the guy from Dick Drive DIY? I'm the guy. I'm Aaron. Nice to meet Aaron, you. nice to meet I you. Love your Thank you. Well, how was it? Pretty cool. Terrifying? A little. <laughs> I told him I'm not going up there. I'm... How high does this go then? This 72 feet. 72? Did you go all the way up? Yep. Okay. 45 is all I need. Well, I've been we, in... were, we were just 45 out to the side almost. Really? Yep. Right there, that was 40 feet. Wow. That's the max that it does. That's crazy for a self-propelled, I mean, for a little one like this. Yep. Cool. Well, thanks a lot. Not a problem, guys. Appreciate it.
All right, no trip to one of these shows would be complete without a visit to the John Deere booth. I always feel at home when I stop by here, you know? So I'm gonna go see if I can run one of these. Which one are you looking at? Um, this is do you have the, seven. Do they have the 994? We do have that, that's on the far end over there. The big diesel? So this is the tractor that they have over in the Curtis Artillion booth that has a cab on it. Have you drove one of these before? I forgot if I asked. Uh, yeah, well, I've driven a zero turn mower, not this exact model. Okay, so park brakes right here. Okay. That's about the only difference. I'm gonna want one of these lawnmowers now, too. Just go up instead of down. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have Appreciate a good one. it. You too. That was cool. So now I just want a John Deere zero turn lawnmower now too. I got to talk Carrie into it. Another cool thing of the expo is we got to meet a few Dig Drive DIY fans, and Cohen here and Dylan. Dylan, you don't watch though, do you, Dylan? I'm gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> so we met a current, an existing fan and a new fan, right? You better subscribe. Yeah, I will. So have you guys had fun at the show? Sure have. Yep. Yeah, it's been a good time. Now, what's now, Cohen? You said you watch a lot of the videos. What's your favorite video? My favorite video would probably have to be the video of you having both 755 and the 855 with the snowblower. Oh, and the snowblower challenge yes. stuff. All right, this has been a fun part too. It was great to get to meet you in person. It's nice to meet you. All right, yeah, it's nice to meet you. Smash that like button. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> right. You smash mine. That's the deal. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yep. All right, well, we've had a great time here at the Equip Expo. We got to hang out in the Artillion booth with some crazy YouTubers. I don't know if you know either of these guys. You can go ahead and say your names. I'm Tim. And I'm John. John with a Ritterbit will do. And of course, Tim, track your time with Tim. It's been a good time. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I hope you liked it. If and I'm... I hope I'm lucky enough to see you on the next one. Is that close? That's it, that's close enough. Lucky enough right. to see you on the next one, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, so we made it back from Louisville. And I just want you to know that all the shots you saw that I wasn't holding the camera was from this guy. Did you come up with enough swag to make it worth your while? Yeah, this <laughs> we, is awesome. There's lots of free stuff there at the show. but So Nephew Trent, if you didn't already know, has been helping me edit and he's been helping sling the camera now and then. So how was your first trip away from home? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thanks for helping me, bud. You're welcome. All right, make sure you tell Trent Thanks for the video down in the comments. We'll see you later. We're keeping it in the family though. Bye.